Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is Rose of Dusk. If this is your first time seeing my streams, hi. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. Sorry, I am out of breath because I wanted to check the mail to see if there's something that Top Hat recently ordered uh, that was in our mailbox. Unfortunately, it is not in our mailbox, and I am very disappointed, but we'll worry about that another time. Uh, oof. Let me switch things over to my tablet over here. So for those that do not know, tonight is normally uh, my drawing night, and I'm currently gonna be drawing my stream mom, Rinku Mew. She is a really awesome person, a very sassy and funny individual. Uh, she also loves to do a lot of spoops. Currently she's on a bit of a hiatus because her internet has to be changed up. But um, she's hoping that she can get back to streaming sometime around the 19th. So until then, she's been collaborating with Lance Nancola, who I will actually also put down. Lance Nancola is a nine-tailed fox uh, who does a lot of Fortnite. Uh, obviously, Rinka does a bit of Fortnite too. Uh, Rinka is actually our residential uh, Nekomata or a uh, cat demon, basically, with a whole bunch of tails. Um, but she, uh, Rinka, loves to bring in the sass, just bring in the chaos, because that's the wonders of being a cat, because the cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. And, uh, yeah, when I first got into the VR streaming uh, scene, Thanks to our mutual friend uh, Asterix, she uh, just immediately went, "You, you are my stream baby now." I was like, "Okay," and Rika's just been a really awesome person. I highly recommend uh, her content. She does a lot of video gaming as well as, um, as if I remember, it's like every Tuesday, or when she's streaming every Tuesday, she does a thing where she watches Nuke's Top 5 and a lot of other uh, spooky content, which is very fun and very interesting because we always have some really fun conversations. If any of that sounds like your guys' fancy, I would more than appreciate uh, you guys go giving her some love when she streams. Even when she's not streaming right now, I think it would be really cool to surprise her just a hair and give her a few follows and let her know that there's people anticipating her, her content. Hopefully that won't freak her out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, okay, I'm just gonna focus on the one hand for now. He's a monkey! Hold on, why do I not see the monkey? Why do I not see the monkey? Mm -mm, let's see. Did I... I think for whatever reason I don't have my Fuji Tech set on this, which is weird. So I'm gonna set up a new Fuji Tech uh, group. Here we are. All right, people, I'll add you in here. Browser. How have you been doing? Oh, and I just noticed that people might not be able to hear you right now. Oh. 
There we go. And you are big. I'm big. You are big. Uh, do you want to be big. in front of me? I am drunk. Since you're the only one right now, do you want to just be in front of me or do you want to be on my head? I don't mind. You do what you want. Okay. Because I know you like to bonk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do. Let's see. Shout out. Monkey Palo. There you are. Also, uh, I know I now know what um, Illegal was talking about. <laughs> oh, what was Legal talking? Um, yeah, about the, uh, the the merch stuff. What was up with that? Uh, I have merch through uh, Streamlabs. Oh. Yeah, but like I didn't know it was set. I had just like, you know. I, I just put stuff up because I wanted to see what it looked like. Right. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. I know I'm gonna hide these things. Valid. Because, uh, cause, cause, you know. I'll make some mugs. That's what I'll do. Mugs are grand. Mugs are easy. Or, you know, something, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll figure out some merch that you want uh, soon. Hmm. I have a mug, and uh, it's just a white glossy mug. I uh, mean, I might... you could easily, um... like, add a little design to that and make it look like a roasted marshmallow. I already have nice. a design, but it's not, like, um, that kind of design. Ooh. Uh, Yeah. I'm just gonna... See what to do. I need to actually take a picture of like how Bye. my Bye. hands are. Oh my god. <laughs> Kala! Thank you so much for the bits and oh my... I forgot I had that as my sound alert for the bits. Monkey, did you hear that? No, I don't have the stream sound on so that I can only listen to you. Mm, it was also hello, Calavoid. Didn't know you were awake. It was really <laughs> cute. Rawr. Oh, cute. Alright, I gotta take a picture of my hands so that I can. Because then you understand. Yep, basically. <laughs> I looked at him, he looked at me, and I looked at him, he looked at me. And I looked at him, and he looks at me. Look at Love Weird Al. Yeah. He's pretty good. Mm. Actually, what is your favorite song by Weird Al? Uh. I like Amish Paradise. That's uh, a good one. I don't know about my favorite. Uh, See, I've been up for like 30 minutes mainly watching vids to wake up. Valid. Yeah, that is valid. Oh, and Zelda's here to remind everyone that you're amazing people and adorable beats. It takes one to know one, Zelda. Hope you feel better soon. Hi, that is very true. Like, as soon as you said we're all, we're all young big songs, I like forgot every single one I've ever heard. Uh. You with the bits, Khaled. You're you're sweet. And no, it does take one to know one, Zelda. Oh, I liked word crimes. Oh, weird. Yeah, Word Crimes is, enough, is a good one. Much better word than the original song. Um, I also like... My favorite Weird Al parody is Foil. Foil's a good one, too! Ah. Oh.
Mine is Polka Face. Polka Face, that is a good one too. I don't know, I like, I like some of them and I, I, I can't remember all of them, so... Yeah, that's fair. Oh, so uh, do you want to tell people a little bit about your stream recently? I know you were playing some Pokemon. Oh, me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was playing uh, Pokemon X. Uh, we started with a Nuzlocke. Uh, I failed the Nuzlocke, but um, it was just pretty much uh, fun. Um... We continued the game even though we failed the Nuzlocke because uh, I didn't want to start over and I thought it would be really, really, really uh, good to just sort of try and, and go through it and sort of get used to the game yeah. as is. So, yeah, that's 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 what we would that's what we were doing today. Um, and uh, on Saturday, I'm going to be having a Fall Guys community stream, which is going to be fun. Yeah. She beat the first gym. At least I think yes, it will be. Yes, you did beat the first gym. I did. I beat the first gym today. That is something I did today. <laughs> Also, I keep missing the flipping community day streams because, like, I want to play my own games, but, like, ah. Uh... Oh? Well, Are you missing like... it tomorrow, do you mean? Yeah, you saying? and I've been missing community day streams a lot lately because, like, I've been wanting mm. to play my own games. So, like, Splatoon 3, uh, Mario Sunshine with Top Hat and whatnot. So, like, I'm not sure if I want to... Not she was also being a precious one? bean, just right. like Dusk is right now. Zelda says, uh, you were also being a precious bean during your stream, just like I am right now. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, I, I, my, my behavior was enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. I mean, honestly, if you didn't enjoy me, I'd probably be like, okay, but why are you watching me then? But like, Basically. you know. <laughs> it's all good. 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 Monkey is always enjoyable. You both are great beans. Thank you, Kala. And yes, agreed. Monkey is always enjoyable. Oh, thank you. You know, you don't have to tell lies. <laughs> I, I joked. Yeah. Okay. I never lie. <laughs> oh. That's an angry face, Zelda. Oh, did I make somebody angry? No, I think it's more like a joking angry. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I did it. I joke, I joke, okay. My name is here. My name is Jim. My name is here. <laughs> Also, my friend who said that they were going to join me and never did. She, she never joined. The Sorry, only people that. that make me Angie. No, it's okay. Because uh, it's the law. It's just, 
I mean, I've 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 had more trouble trying to get her into a voice call with other people. <laughs> Cause she's like, uh, does she have anxiety? People. Does she like um, anxious? I don't know. Sometimes, probably, but like, that's why I was so just surprised that she was like, "Oh yeah, I'll hop in soon." I'm like, okay. And then she never did, and I was like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the only people that make me angry are my siblings, because that's the law. Eh. Fair. I'm not sure if that is the law, per se. Then again, I didn't have a great relationship with my siblings when I was young. So I was never raised with that culture of like, oh, they're your siblings, they're supposed to make you angry, or they're supposed to drive you crazy. It's like... So, but Mm -hmm. when I hear folks say that, it's like, are you sure about that? And I'm not sure if my questioning is because I wasn't raised in that in that culture and that's just mm-hmm. normal, or if it's legit something that we normalize, kind of like how when people say, oh, you, you're, uh, like, bodily harm, like, pushing you and things like that, it's just how little kids show that they like you. It's kind not of true. Thing. Yeah. Like... Now, the question I have for uh, Streamlabs is if I create something and I like it, c- can I c- can I buy it? cheap for, for yourself <laughs> yeah but can i buy it cheap for myself like do i have to pay like the full price you might have you know? to i think you might have to hmm cuz this is this is the question cuz like you know it's pretty but i'm like i want it mm. <laughs> Why are the people allowed? It's mine. I, I want it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Honestly, I doubt that y'all would ever make me angry. It isn't really a thing that happens. Fair, and I really hope that I will never make make you angry. I don't like it when I make people angry. I- Especially accidentally. Well, especially, like, per- I just don't like making people angry in general. Yeah. I think that wouldn't be a, a good idea, you know? Y'all are too adorable. Hey, takes one and no one. And the, and thank you for the head pads, Kala. I don't Aww. have I don't have a thing where I can actually put head pads on my PNG yet, but maybe in the future. Yeah, we 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 working on that. <laughs> Give us time. We small. We small. We babies. We don't know what we doing yet. <laughs> and this is why Rinka is my stream mom. Mama, stream Head mama. She's my stream mama too. Yeah. I didn't know we were stream siblings. <laughs> well, we are now. I mean, I think we always were, we just, like, you know... It, it just didn't click. Yeah, because, like, I always knew that I was stream siblings with Xion. Yeah, and, like, I picked up pretty quickly that I'm stream siblings with Vega. Yeah. Damn, Rinka has many children. Like, many children. Yeah. A 
ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm the friendly neighborhood Zelda player. Fair enough. <laughs> friendly neighborhood Zelda player. See, now that just makes me want to make a Spider-Man parody for you, Zelda. But I'm not sure... It's okay, I'll still give head pats to everyone. Yeah, thank you, Kala. Let's see. What do you think would be a good way to do a, uh, a parody for the Spider-Man theme for Zelda? Monkey. Uh, what do you mean? Because Zelda said in comments, I am the friendly neighborhood Zelda player. And whenever um... I hear friendly neighborhood, whatever, I hear friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Right. So my mind goes to like the the old school uh, Spider-Man theme, like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, that kind of thing. So yeah. How do how do we want to incorporate that cadence into a parody for Zelda? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, to be honest. It's impossible, like me being adorable. No, it is not impossible. I will find a way. I will find a way. any plans for October? Nope. Not at all, honestly. Uh, probably doing something on, on online at some Fair. point, but like other than that, I have no idea. Hmm. Something just dropped, and it made a noise, and I don't know what it is. That is okay. if you were there for the stream but I apparently uh, blew a few people's minds during an art stream oh um, so when I draw with my tablet with this I don't mm -hmm. use a pencil I use my fingers oh wow yeah no offense, I think you might have um, invented a skill, <laughs> and uh, like, you, you, yeah, you might be doing it on hard mode. <laughs> uh, I, I've noticed with my brain, I don't know, I think it might just be with me being neurodivergent, but I do a lot of things instinctively on hard mode without meaning to. Mm -hmm. Like, especially when it comes to, like, say, I want to, like, there, there's a lot of stuff that I, like, want to do or like to do, and my mind, like, just thinks of, like, what, th what it thinks to be the most foolproof or the most comfortable, but it turns yeah. out to be, like, one of the most convoluted ways possible. I see. But that's just... 
it, it works for my brain. Yeah. And like, what, what's even funnier about it, especially for, like, uh, drawing uh, with my fingers for, like, my tablet, is that a friend of mine gave me an Apple Pencil. I have an Apple Pencil in one of my pouches somewhere, but I just don't use it. Because I... Um, I'm so much more used to not having pressure sensitivity. Yeah. Whereas with the Apple Pencil, like, there is the pressure sensitivity. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, mine. I think you, I think... Yeah, my, my brain just weird. Mm, don't know about weird, just like... Convoluted, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Top Hat can tell you quite a few times to where I've driven him batty with some of the things that I've come up with. But he's like, <laughs> honey, like, there, there's literally just like one thing, one thing that you could do for this. Yeah. Like, actually, I if I remember right, Celine actually got the moment where I talked about this in the original stream clipped. Yeah. Spooky text to speech noises reminding Dusk and Monkey that they're amazing and adorable. Thank you, Zelda, and thank you for the spooky for the spooky noise. <laughs> if there's anything that people want to talk about, ask me or monkey questions, like don't be shy. Yeah, you guys can ask questions. You sound like you're getting tired. No, I'm 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 doing a thing, and it looks pretty. I just I got. Oh, you're focused. Yeah, it's so you know the merch thing and how like mm, you know interesting things is happening and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I am like fully just like. I'm in design mode. Oh. Is this itching at, at a part of your brain that hasn't been itched in a while? I guess. Yeah. And, and it's going to be really interesting to show you because I feel like you're going to like it a lot and be like, um, want now? Hello, me. <laughs> like, pull like the seagulls from Finding Nemo and be like, my. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, also me go, but me also want. <laughs> you know? Yeah. This is, this is just how I feel like it's gonna be. Mm. I'm terrible with small talk. That's why my messages are always the same thing. You're good, Zelda. It's all good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if, uh, you know, what we do yeah. and how we do it, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> because otherwise I might actually, like, put some effort into making merch, because this is, this is pretty. Kind of fun, isn't it? 
Yeah. But I mean, like, put some effort into it, as in, like, specifically... Uh, finding an artist with mind to make it merch, you yeah. know, versus, like, using art that I already have. Like, I like it, but I think... Yeah. That's fair, yeah. Okay, I'm so, I'm got I'm gonna send you screenshots. Ooh. All right, I got my I got my phone up ready. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to go to direct messages. Find a road. There you are. And I'm going to enter because this thing doesn't like me to. The only thing is, uh, is this is a really expensive design. A really expensive design? What do you mean by that? Uh, like, so the person who buys it will have to pay 55 euro Ooh, to wow. get the item. And that's without me making a lot of profit off it. Like, it's just an expensive design. Oh. You know? That's what I mean by that. Uh, I see. Alright. Uh, all of the screenshots are sent. Alright. Well, not the different colors, but like... Right, like the base design. Yeah. Alright, give me a hot sec to... Finish getting rid of like the... Extra line. Just now thinking about it. I've never made memes of you guys like I have with everyone else. <gasps> yes, Kristen right? us with your memes. Memes? What? Zelda said uh, they just realized that uh, they haven't made memes of us like they have with like R Rinka, Venus, and others. Uh, right. Oh my god, that is adorable. Right? Especially with the pennies on the sleeves, I fucking can't! Ah! <laughs> yeah. He's adorable. Then again, like, hoodies like this do kind of cost a lot, though. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that is fair. Oh, I need to make her ears. Can I order my own hoodie? I can, and it does give me a mild discount. Oof. Wish. Sounds well, like of course it. More than that. Well, you know how I said it's fifty-five, and I don't make much I feel profit. Like you guys are too adorable to me. At all. Well, if you like, move it. If you like, take away the profit that it like. Obviously, you. You, you don't pay yourself. Right. It's uh it's basically fifty bucks. Uh I'm sure you can find some way to meme us, Zelda. I mean come on, we also hang with Lexi. Like true. Come on. If you're really wanting to find like shit post worthy content, <laughs> just look at the clips when we've hung out with Lexi. Yeah, that's fair. What? Yeah. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm being really happy with this. Okay. I'm gonna do a bundle of this and uh. I do this bundle. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, no, I don't want to buy it. I'm confused. Oh, it's asking you if you want to buy it, like, right now. Oh, uh, okay. 
I see. Oh, I thought I could do a bundle deal, like where like if you get like stuff in a set, like kind of idea. Uh, like do like a well, bundle I... box kind of thing. Yeah, that would have been. I think that would have been nice. That would be nice. Like, stuff that matched each other, like, hey, you could get this for, like, ten bucks cheaper or something, like, I don't right. know. Right. I think if you want to do bundles like that, you might have to do, like, Redbubble. Oh. Um, I don't know, I, I, this, I know this, this, people, this was just here, so. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people uh, have been using Redbubble lately for, like, uh -huh. doing their, doing their merch. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I just realized I didn't name these products. I need to name them apparently. Mm. Um Way. Nice art. Thank you, Zelda. Oh? Was that in your adorable bean? No, just Zelda saying nice art. Oh, yeah. I like your art. It's good. Hey, thank you. I definitely want to have you on the drawing board at some point. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Would you want me to draw, like, you, you, or the monkey? Uh, up to you, to be honest, because, like, so, the monkey, uh, could, you could, like, draw hit them as a marshmallow, you could draw them as a femboy, you could draw that, like, a, you know, like a half human, half monkey femboy, or you could draw them as a half human, half marshmallow femboy, but, like, as a marshmallow. Mm. Like... Envision slime, but like nice marshmallow. The works of the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, there is a lot of options with him. Whereas with my uh, uh, OC of my live 2D model, she's a bit more uh, specific. Although um, I did get a marshmallow version of her drawn um, by Tiny. Uh, although it was very like. Sweets fantasy all AU kind of thing because right, right. none of that was canon, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd be down for either or, honestly, because like I want to, I want to do a thing to where I draw like all of my streaming buddies. So like, I've drawn. Uh, Pain, Mama, and Z Denine, who are all personal friends of mine, who also happen to be yeah. streamers. But I also have drawn Venus, I've drawn Lexi, I'm drawing mm -hmm. Flipping Rinka right now. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. Well, I have a merch store now. Woo! And it has two mugs, a insulated bottle, and a really fucking expensive cropped hoodie. But <laughs> what can you do?
Wait, femboy monkey, you say? <laughs> Zelda just said, wait, femboy monkey? Yes, monkey, okay, me, is getting a femboy version, uh, which is going to be uh, the half human version of my little mascot because my mascot is a boy. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I, I have an outfit design already that I designed. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can design um, I can design clothing. I cannot draw uh, bodies. Mm -hmm. But that's what uh, Tiny is doing my uh, what is it called? Your, your model? No, no, my reference sheet for. Ooh. There we go. She's doing the reference sheet Can't for my femboy. Because I decided that I don't want to make him a live 2D model because it's just going to be like one day a week. Uh, what I want sure. to do is to get like a full reactive PNG that you can use with a video studio Ooh. mini thing. Yeah. I think that would be good. Yeah. That would be good. I'm really curious to see. I'm really curious to see how he's gonna look. Um, I can show you the mood board and uh, explain uh, a few things. Yes. While I don't show it to anyone on stream, and everyone's just gonna be hearing us and just be left out. Yeah, it's okay. They will at least glean some clues from. Uh, from the uh, little conversation, mm. uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So this is the outfit that I drew. Being left out. <laughs> and I drew it. Sorry. I drew it on. Oh. Zelda just did a being left out, and then just like four corgi Thanos snaps. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I, I drew that basically off of the inspiration of the mood board. But the thing is, is that the body type is the wrong body type because, uh, I don't want to go for the typical femboy. I want to go with a slightly more athletic build, as in, like, uh, a runner build. A little more tough. Um, yeah, just slightly. Like, do you see, uh, the white-haired tanned guy in the school uniform? Yes. Yeah, you can tell he's got, like, some very lithe sort of muscle going on. Yeah. He's still, like, trimmed and slim and whatnot, but uh, he's not... He's not, like, a cylinder with hips. Right. You know? Yeah. Which is, I guess, all I can describe. <laughs> Usual femboy says. Femboy, femboy. Uh, but yeah. Oh, that's it. Zelda just put down tomboy femboy? As in yeah. kind of the aesthetic? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Tomboy femboy. Wait, tomboy... No. Isn't it tom girl femboy? Or tom girl? Because isn't a tomboy a female who um, acts like a guy? Tomboy is... Tomboys are really weird phrase because like a lot of people tend to like categorize tomboy as like just a, a girl or femme person that goes outside of the social constructs and paradigms of femininity so like playing yeah. sports wanting to get dirty things mm -hmm. like that so eh? i don't know Basically, they're going to look a little bit more masculine than most femboys, like, but they're gonna they're not dress gonna the like a they're, femboy. They're not gonna, <laughs> I don't know if Twitch actually likes this word, so I'm just gonna say it super quick. They're not gonna be a twink. No, they're still gonna be a twink. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> just, just, just not the not the typical anime one. Ah, uh, fair. They're not gonna be, like, super UK levels. 
I mean, Zelda, does this make you happy or are you confused? I can't tell. <laughs> like, did I break your brain or like... Are you confused? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm seeing all the disturbed emojis. I'm like... <laughs> Well, they're they're like I don't what? even know looker, and then I don't even know. <laughs> <She's> like, <gasps> like dang, I don't even know. Okay, fair enough. I guess everyone will just have to react to it once I actually have a reference sheet and do the thing where like you hide it behind likes and tweet retweets and shit on Twitter. <laughs> right, doing what, what I do I'm... know is that you're both amazing and adorable. I can't. I don't have a capture card. Mm. And thank you, Zelda. I was going to say, I mean, you could do what I'm doing and be like, hey, yeah, I got a new design and a live 2D model coming out, but you're not going to see it until this specific time. Ha ha. Because it's not even been, like, drawn or anything. I can't, I can't, like, like, Tiny's busy, you know? <laughs> What I do know is that you're both amazing and adorable. Thank you! He takes one to no one. Yeah. But, so basically the two styles of anime is also on the mood board. So, you know the, the, the tan guy? Yeah, yeah. His style is really nice. Like, the way he's been drawn. I feel like he's from, like, an otome. Yeah, he's from something. I don't know. But... At the same time, he looks almost exactly like how I want my fucking monkey. So uh, like, you know, like the sh the the white, uh, fluffy, uh, really like fluffy hair, but not like super spiky. Yeah, um, cute face, blush, tan skin. Um, I don't know about the eye shape. I might change the eye shape, but like green eyes. And then obviously not dressed in a fucking uh, uh, not the, in a the, not in a uniform like school that. uniform, <laughs> but in in what I decide is what he's gonna have, yeah. um, which is by the way, uh, cutesy adorableness mixed with fetish gear, mixed <laughs> with uh, the idea of being a sleut, but it says squish instead. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I honestly love the sh the sh the sheer for like the sleeves. Cute. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I, the only thing that I think I want to redraw is probably all the O rings into hearts, and also I I think I want to change the color. Ooh. Um. Would you want to change the? the ring to a heart on that as well or do you want to have it be something else i probably a ring on the on there as well but also i think i just want to change up the whole design i don't like the dangly bit from it because it looks weird because it's just a line and then it has a dangly bit you know ah, i see yeah um what i do know is that you're both amazing and adorable thank you yeah. thank you zelda and then the other art style that I like is the uh, Bunny Boy Link, because I think that's that's ah, Link from yeah. uh, <laughs> Zelda. Yeah. As a femboy, and I really like that as well. But I don't know how well the sort of light muscular runners build would sort of be drawn in that kind of bubbly style, you know? Mm. <laughs> what? J oh. Just look at the... <laughs> yeah, just the... <gasps> the gasp, like, the Link is a femboy with bunny ears? What are you talking about? <laughs> As I'm over here drawing our chaotic stream mother. Yeah. So, uh, for this, you do use a, um, 
Hmm? Capture card, right? Uh, so what I'm using is Air Server. It's a program to where basically I can... Um, so Apple products uh, and a lot of like modern phones and tablets and such have a thing where you can do mirror play. Um, and you can um, set your... Uh, set your device to show on a compatible uh, piece of tech. You normally cannot do that with regular computers. So with Air Server, it basically creates uh, a function or like a, it creates an output for the input from your tablet or whatever's uh, attempt to find a device to basically show the thing. Okay. Hey, if you ever want to have time, would you mind see, seeing if uh, they have the same thing for Samsung and helping me do that? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Air Server can work for not just Apple stuff, but it can also work for Samsung. So. Okay. Yeah, Almond introduced me to it. Um, you have like a one month trial period, and then it's like 20 bucks for a lifetime. Oh, 20 bucks for a lifetime is actually really good. Yeah, I don't know how that equates to euros, but yeah. I don't care. It's lifetime. It's not monthly. <laughs> right? Compared to the bullshit that flipping Clip Studio is going to transfer to, which, fuck that shit. Oh? Yeah, no, Clip Studio has decided, starting 2023, we're going to, for updated versions of Clip Studio we're going to be putting things on a monthly subscription basis. And the biggest thing that Clip Studio Paint was known for, especially as a competitor against Photoshop, was that it was supposed to be a lifetime thing. Wow. Now so... they've just decided to become the thing that they, that, that they hated. Okay, but like, does that count for people who already bought it though? For people that already bought it, basically we cannot get any updates for our version, not for our Clip Studio Paint. We're gonna be stuck with earlier versions that don't have as good a security. And if we ever want to update, we have to pay. Well, that's stupid. So I'm currently using a free trial version. Uh, I got six months with free with my tablet. I'll be back. Mm. Um, so I, I probably won't be staying on it if uh, if it's doing that kind of bullshit. Yeah. Then again, I don't know what other one to use that might be similar-ish. Um, given like the re the news for um, Clip changing gears has been up since, like, since a good while, like, I think at least a month. There's been plenty of articles for, like, um, like people giving us some really good alternatives. I would recommend taking a look. Mm-hmm. I will do that, then. Because, believe me, um, I'm really happy that I have uh, Procreate on my tablet and my phone because those are lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Um, but for my computer, I'm definitely going to have to figure out on um, a different program. I'm going to grab some drink and it to joy with stream. I'll be back. And okay. Get water, get tea, get something. Get, get, get something that's going to be helpful. I say as I have soda on my desk. Yeah. <laughs> How did you change your dragon so much? Uh, I actually didn't change him. So someone, uh, dis I think it was DBS, decided to let uh, the original Terror have a baby. Oh. So this is uh, Terror Jr. Oh, okay. Mine hasn't had a baby yet because nobody's um, either spent 2,000 points to get a token to breed them or they haven't spent, I think it's 100 bits on breeding them. I decided that you can't breed them unless you, like, 
spend a lot because I like Silas, right? Yeah, that's fair. I if you want to get rid of Silas, <laughs> if you want to get rid of Silas, I might do that myself. Like now thinking yeah. about it, because like I, as much as I liked my original Terror's design, I love how Terror is right now because the horns are super cute. They are super cute. I think the wings are cool too. Yeah, I mean, uh, even the the original Terror had wings like that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna battle your dragon. I wanna see the result. Is he gonna win? Yay, he won! <laughs> oh, it gave me a weird random dragon, because that's not my dragon. Yeah, I guess it just battles random, randomly generated dragons. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll look that I'm first. Mm. I'll look that I'm second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but uh, I had to. Wait, meow? What do you mean you had to? Oh. <laughs> that took Nobody else can be first or second now. You're That's evil. it. You're evil. I know. How could you? I know, right? Full care package. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Should I actually get the? Should I have the soda, or should I should I actually get water? Not up to me, it's your body. And as for like food, I do have some chips. But is it snack time? Or is it meal time? I mean it's nine. And like and I had a pretty unfortunately, decent- Unfortunately, when I oh. went to look for a potential snack to also enjoy with the stream, Y'all weren't there. No! <laughs> well, no, because Zelda said, unfortunately, when I went to look for a potential snack to also enjoy with the stream, y'all weren't there. Wait, are you trying to say that we're snacks? Uh, yes, I think that is what they're insinuating. <laughs> and yes, I, I approve this message. I am a snack. Whoa, somebody I follow just popped up Where from like. I am. If someone I follow just popped up from being like not even uh, online to having 64 followers, I mean, watching them and like. Wow. Like, they weren't online and then they were and they had 64 followers immediately watching them. It's very funny. I think it was just because, like, my thing wasn't updated, but, like, it's just, like, you know, normally they come online and they have zero and, they, you know, the, like, right. that kind of shit. It's just still really funny. And, and also, what if you are, I mean, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> just curiosity killing the cat. Mm-hmm. What if I am? Um, thank you for calling me a snack. Well, I mean, but you got it wrong. I'm the whole damn meal, right? <laughs> I 
I mean, some people like to have dessert for dinner. To be fair, monkey is also a marshmallow, fair. so it's literal in this sense. But again, I'm the whole damn meal. I'm not just like, yeah. I'm fair point, <laughs> Zelda. To be fair, monkey is also a marshmallow, so it is also literal. <laughs> But instead yeah, of like whole... being a small marshmallow, I'm like one of those uh, chocolate covered marshmallow hearts with uh, like the caramel inside. Hit. <laughs> uh, Zelda just said you're the whole buffet. Yes, I am. Because there's a chocolate fountain with uh, marshmallow dippers and marshmallow kebabs with uh, different fruit on them. Yeah. Noise. Yeah. It's probably that bad chocolate. Like the bad, like it's it's bad when it's whole, but it's it's good when it's melted. Oh, you know that like it's like it's cheap chocolate, therefore like it's really bad to eat like not melted. But because you're putting it in a chocolate fountain, it's like instantly ten times better. And you're like, mm -hmm. you mean, and then you're like, are you if this is stop like the pound store chocolate. I have no idea. America's got different chocolate than than here. Yeah, that, that's fair. And no fair. offense, uh, your chocolate's worse than our worst chocolate. Oh, yeah. No, American chocolate is just Bad. no. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't I, mind M&M's. Like Those are the thing. Of, but like, one time, uh, my now ex-partner, um, they had gone to uh, do like a, a school trip in Europe. They went to Belgium mm -hmm. and uh, got me, like, some Belgian chocolates. Never going back. Fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You spoiled now. <laughs> I, have taste I have tasted heaven, and I want it. <laughs> also, I like that you're doing colored outlines. I do colored outlines. Um, when I know what the color scheme is. If I don't know what the color scheme is, like, before I start drawing, I do black ones to try and, like, help me figure stuff yeah, out. But I always like to do colored outlines because I like how things look when um, the outline is, like, uh, is a slightly darker color than the shadow. I feel like it helps to make things a little more co cohesive and mm -hmm. less comic booky. Yeah. I think it's very pretty. I want to say something based on what Monkey said about being melted chocolate, but it's not also like my usual question. wholesome yeah. stuff. We see her crotch underneath the um uh thing, but you don't really see that in the image, do you? Or do you? Is the you, question. You kind Did of do count? a little bit. It's okay. um it's the shadow from uh, her, uh, from, from, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. It's just so, it's such a, like, it blends in so much, it just looks like the shadow. Yeah, yeah. This is a pair of shorts? Okay. Yeah, got a pair of booty shorts with ribbons on the sides. Mm-hmm. That's basically, guys, 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 Rink is wearing my femboy shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess that means you're taking after our mom? Eh? I guess so. I oh, am now so ah! after getting out of that cheer ten. Just said about being oh, melted chocolate. Ten bits. But it's not like my usual wholesome stuff. <laughs> right. Also, goodness gracious, Kala, how many times are you gonna be sending bits, man? Uh, as many as he wants, cause he's bored. I guess I don't know. Well, he he sent me bits, and now he's now he's feeding your dragon. <laughs> Brain not working right now. <laughs> call a voice. I know, right? He's like, 
throw all the things. <laughs> See where they land. It's very cute. All, Thank you. All, all the support has made my brain short circuit. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <sighs> that was all of my bits. That better have been. Don't be spending money on more bits. I appreciate it, but don't mm -hmm. break your bank, please. I, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure we've been, we done been, uh, like thinking about what we got and what we can afford. Don't worry. I have 0 0.73 in my bank. Yeah, no touchy. So it's all good. Good. Hey! Monkey hey Mallow, just is, subscribe. Is. Oh my... <laughs> Thank you, monkey. They were old bits You're from welcome. last year. They were old bits from last year. Okay. I I, <laughs> I, I believe you on that. I'm gonna hold I you. got a founder's badge. Yee. Founder's <laughs> badge. But um yeah, it's it's on sale at the minute. It's even more on sale when you like go for longer, so I was like, I'ma get six months in advance. Oh, what? Yeah, did you not see what it said? All I see is Monkey Malice subscribed at tier one. I didn't see the duration. Okay, well, six months. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweetheart. What? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No, it's, it's, it's... Bean. It's all good, okay? What I do is when I do this, I do it for six months, right? Mm -hmm. So that I can get the discount. And then what I do is I click on don't renew, right? Valid. And I say, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't afford it. And then uh, the next time when I think about it, I just like... I might do it again. <laughs> and I might, I might do it, like, within the year where I get, like, the streak. Maybe I won't. But, like, I, I do make sure, like, I, I can't, um, like, fuck it up yeah. for myself. Don't worry about it. Okay? okay. Also, I have five gifted subs from random people to other things. Like, uh... I don't spend a lot of time in uh, Wukiki's place, but like I got one for Wukiki, I got one for Josephine, I got one for Oyatsicha, I got one for Azviti, who I wrote it, rated out to you today, and then one for Golden Clooney, who is my f uh, friend's brother. Oh, nice. Yeah. I've got a gifted sub from a channel I've never heard of before. Now I have a butt emote. Hello lovelies. That's super cool, uh, Zelda. Love the butt emote. Also, hi Lexi! Hi Lexi! If you want to hop in VC with us, uh, you're more than open to, hun. I know you've been really busy lately, so if you need to hang out with folks to like, de-stress, like, by all means. At also, I made merch. Don't spend all your money. <laughs> a snack that smiles back, if you will. Here have a picture of a cat monkey sends to DM. Mm -hmm. Also, I do say that out of all the goodness of my heart. It's Taking just I know that, off. like, 
sometimes when uh, certain someone has money, uh, oh. <laughs> they oh. like to throw it at other people. Okay. Also, have fun in VR also, chat, huh? Thank you, Zelda. Woohoo! Drinkings? Okay. Well, Be careful. Drinking. Be safe. Yeah. Merch. I love merch. <laughs> Sorry, how how the text of speech At was like merch. 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 I like Smirch. It was uh -huh. like such a, a quiet and uninterested just merch. <laughs> it's like <laughs> that was the exact cadence. It just killed me. Uh, Ursula's cute. She's got like a really weird striping pattern like going on, but it, like it's so cute. I love it. I got sent a cat picture. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I saw uh, Kala like uh, notice yeah. that. Sends to DM. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 show you later, maybe. Yeah. If you promise not to like you know I'm not going to dox another person's cat, no. <laughs> what? No, not 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 yeah. I'm not promising to show you the cat. I'm promising to show Lexi the merch later, oh. so long as she promises not to like I don't know, whatever she does, right? <laughs> Just don't do it. Just pull, like, that one flipping meme. Stop. Get some help. Yeah. <laughs> And you haven't even done it yet, so I'm just preemptively telling you off, okay? <laughs> she is a tortoise shell, and she is the oldest of the three cats. Just, just zon Aww, zon okay. <laughs> Bish, do you know who I is? She's a tortoise shell, and she is the eldest of three cats. Okay. She is adorable. Yes, I know who you is, which is why I say no. <laughs> do you see her? Yes. <laughs> The audacity. At asterisks, yes, I mentioned official, the sound I editing an program. Person and an adorable <laughs> <scene>. <laughs> yes, she is an, an amazing person, an adorable being. Yes. Doesn't mean she's being outraged and aud audacious right now. Zelda, why are you so wholesome? Thank you, you. <laughs> Ooh, I just got gifted a, 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 a badge. Ooh. Me, uh, I mean, a, a subscribee to, from Lewd Sauce Gaming. Ooh, interesting. Just forget. Because uh, I'm lurking in other people's streams too, and it just popped up like, hey, you received a subscription. Nice. So it's like, hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, they've just gifted another five to some, like, randomly. Jeez, That's, That's really kind of them. Yeah, I mean, because at the same time, it's September, I think people see nowadays. the word sale and then, like, spend Zelda, a lot of money. do you need a hug? Do you need a hug, honey? She's so cute. Uh, you remind me. I need to post uh, pictures. I got pictures of kittens today. Not all of them because uh, so they were in a bag because they decided to crawl into uh, like a big black duffel bag to like 
So the, these are kittens that were used to like staying in a cave for like their their sleeping and stuff. Right. So they they crawled into this big black duffel bag, and so the 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 black cat obviously disappeared. <laughs> um, but one of them didn't go with them, and like it seemed it, they they seemed to be um, like very. Wanted to let you know left Alice out sometimes, but um, it was in a different the little book. little area. Mm. So here are the update pictures, and then tomorrow I'll probably get some more. Huh? Because they're going away on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, that's when they're getting and sent all, to the... Lexi, that's super nice of you. Oh. Uh, Lexi said, we love you so much, Zelda. I wanted to let you know that Alex and I added your username to the special thanks page for the new book. Oh. That's so nice. Yeah. I'm so sorry that to hear that little Alice brings you happiness, though, because, like, while I get an immense amount of joy from streaming and from the people that I stream with and um, interacting with with all that, to know that you're not having fun elsewhere is also like, it's it's not it's not healthy. Mm. It's not great. And I hope you are able to find a sense of joy somewhere else as well, because everybody needs multiple avenues yeah. of, uh, of, 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 like, you know, feeling, good feelings. Yeah, everyone deserves to have, like, multiple outlets, multiple places where they can feel like they're themselves and feel like that they can I'm chill. gonna save up for a copy so I can be, be accepted like and, in yeah. one episode. So, I, like I really do... I Gary. There I am. I'm really appreciative of Yee. you guys, though. Hmm. Aw, oh, Zelda says, I'm gonna save up a copy uh, for a book so I can be like Spongebob in that one episode where he's like, There I am, Gary! There I am! For, like, the TV commercial. At the Zelda Player 99, we got you, fam. Yeah. We shall support the beam! I love that episode. We must support the beam at all costs. Cats. Cats? Cat. I feel like I should make her eyebrows a little thicker. What do you think? Uh... Yes. Also, let's move this one down. I have to find the fucking name. What is it? Uh, I think it's Ann Cat Dove. Wait, what? Something. Uh, the. Yeah. The the society, well, the sanctuary that um that the cat the kittens are going to is called An Cat Dove Sanctuary. Huh. But it's it's in Irish, so right. apart from the word sanctuary, so oh, yeah, yeah. Uncat do, uh, do, so the black cat. Yeah. But it's dove. It's not do. A BH is a V. 
sound. Mm, I I thought in like at least in like Munster Irish like B H no. uh, changes to like a, a V or a W, so it could be no. do or doove. Dove. Okay, dove. Okay. Or at least oh, wait, like, yeah, like a, the the ooh I reject is more other. Like when there's a fada, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last cat picture for monkey. To copy this to Twitter, because I can't be bothered to write all this out again. What's up? I said now I just have to copy this to Twitter. Ursula is watching the stream from my bed. Aww. That's cute. Why do you think Ursula is interested in the stream? Does she like the colors? Probably. Just now thinking about it. Should I type monkey instead of monkey? Or is monkey fine? Oh, that's a that's a fair point. Uh, monkey, do you yeah. prefer, like, when you're referred to, do you prefer monkey as in M-O-N-K-I, or do you prefer monkey as in M-O-N-K-E-Y? I don't have a preference because on Discord, a monkey with an E-Y and on... Obviously, stream I'm with an I, and like I really don't mind. Both fit me, both suit me. I respond to both. So basically, the the Road to El Dorado meme, like both, both is good. Both, both, yes. What about monkey? Hit. <laughs> Monkey as in M O N K E. Monkey. Fair enough. See, that just makes me think of the memes of like Return to Monkey. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where they are from. Leatriel Tempest. <laughs> Nobody Leatriel expects Tempest the Spanish Inquisition! With five viewers. Lytriel, wait. Leatriel Tempest just Leatriel, posted the stream Leatriel, for three viewers. Leatriel, Leatriel, uh, Tempest, thank you so much Ursula for the just raid. curious. <laughs> I'm gonna shout you out, um... Why? Welcome, Raiders. Hold on, let's see. Shout out... Lytriel... If I can type the name right! Um, what ha, were... Ha, ha, hello there. What were y'all doing? Yeah, I, I raved. I just want to be sure that I'm spelling your name right, and that should be right. For those that uh, are Playing new to- some Scarlet Nexus. Ooh, Scarlet Nexus. I heard that that's a, a fun series. Uh, for mm -hmm. those that are new to my streams, hi, I am Rose Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk. Just anything that you would call a friend. I am a variety streamer that does a lot of drawing and gaming um hoping to get into like chat like chatting stuff and videos soon um i i, I do a lot of little factoids related to dissociation uh, mental health disability 
as well Atlea as... Atlea Triel Tempest, welcome to this stream of amazing people and adorable beings, and me. As well as my special interests, which mine is also related to my job, because I am an ESL tutor. So, if all of that info and then some sounds like hey, anything no. up your guys' mm -hmm. alley, feel free to stick around. If I'm not quite your tub your cup of tea, I appreciate you taking a bite and admitting that you You're don't like me. You're included in that Zelda. Yeah. Or that just your content isn't quite to their tastes, because yeah. they might like you. They just might not want to watch you. Yeah. There's differences. Yeah, that that is true. I could definitely word that a different way. <laughs> uh, for no, I are... just... Mm? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you knew that because you know, for yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Fair. Uh, I will say for those that are also curious to uh, talk a little bit with my community and also give suggestions for games that I'll play in the future, feel free to stick mm. around in my Discord. Uh, I will note that it is uh, eighteen plus, so. Uh, there will be, there are, uh, roles available for, like, if you say so. Um, but yeah. It is an 18 plus server, so be ready to... There will be areas dedicated for, like, talking about specific subjects, but mm -hmm. it is an adult server, so be ready for adult Ooh, call, for adult, ad break. For adult content. Oh no! Yeah. Ads! Anyway, uh... I plan to go say hi to people and then go to bed, so I'm a I'm a head out. Okie dokie. You try not to have too much fun. <laughs> Thank you. And you have fun on your stream and I it's looking really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually really Thank you happy for with having how me. she's uh, turning out. Like mm -hmm. I'm practically at the halfway point. I've gotten her line art done. Now I just yeah. need to start on coloring. Yeah, it's really cute, and I'm sure Rinka will love it. Also, um, I'm a lurk, so I'm a. Hey. I might. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. Monkey disappeared after the ads finished. Yeah, no, uh, Monkey is wanting to say hi to some other folks and then get ready for bed. Yes, sleep is good. Yes, sleep is important. It's fun to stick around with people, talk and chat, but don't stick around at the expense of your health. Your health is more important. Right, so I'm gonna have to mess with this later. Let's see, and her hoodie has like a brownish kind of color to it. Now you get cat. 
cat? I get cat? Gimme kitty. I love cats. I miss having a cat. This room is about the same as her hoodie, so... I miss one of my cats from years back. She was a bean. Aww. I sent you cat. You sent me cat? I must look at cat. I am very curious about cat. <gasps> oh, she's darling. Sorry, I got distracted. All right. All righty, daddy. Oh, I see another picture of. Oh, Doc is adorable. Also, if you want Kala, uh, I think I have a spot in my yeah, server dog for like. Yeah, when he meows. Oh, that's cute. I believe there should be a spot in my server for like pictures related to like selfies in real life. If you want to show pictures uh, of your cats there, like if you're comfortable to, by all means. Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Dusk is an amazing person and an adorable bean slash G slash SRS. Thank you, Zelda. You know the drill by now when that pops up. Yeah. I still want to say thank you. 
because you you still put effort into that and you're putting effort in practicing the tone indicators which is really appreciated I try my best not to miss it, unless I'm away from my phone, in mm. which case I can't do anything. That, that's fair. I sent a DM to you. Oh. Sorry for distracting with the DMS. No, you're good. Let's see, is it okay? Um, if you want to be in VC, like, sure. Just be sure to keep any conversations and such to uh, TOS friendly and whatnot. You know the drill. I appreciate you asking. Also, I heard that the bean makes constructed languages. What's that like? Yeah, so... Con lanes, um... It really depends. It really depends on, like, what kind of aesthetic that you want to go for for con lanes. You can do a one for like just for jokes you could do one for um world building stuff for like a D, &D campaign um you could do it just for funsies you could do it as a meme there, there's a lot of reasons on how and why you can make a con lane i've done it mostly out of boredom um but i've also incorporated my con lanes into stuff that i've done for Dungeons and Dragons. Also, hey, Kella. Hello. Oh, I'm going to switch something real okay. quick. If you're wanting tips on, like, how to make your own con lane... A or... wild bean has oh. appeared. A wild bean has indeed appeared. But if you're wanting tips for how to make your own con lane, honestly, I would say just... Focus on whatever you're comfortable with. If you're wanting to do something just to experiment, then experiment. The, there's really no wrong way to do con lanes. Anyone that wants to say anything like that is an elitist purist, and I, I, I don't condone that kind of behavior. Like, the last thing that we need is more elitism in anything related to linguistics. We already deal with that in the linguistic field in and of itself. We don't need it in conlines. Much better. 
Yep, there you are. I was just switching my um, server profile. Ah, uh, I see. To something that's more friendlier, because I didn't want... <laughs> I mean, all I've been seeing is just a redhead butler kind of character this whole time. Yes. I should have done it before I joined, because, yeah. It's all good. I mean, I didn't see any character change or anything, so no harm done. Yeah. Because I'm... Whenever I join with the uh, profile pics I have, because they're from... Uh, pit Crew? If you've ever, ever oh, heard of that place? Yeah, yeah, I know there are some pit crews that allow you to use their things as profile pictures but yeah. they don't want like monetary stuff like that so yeah yeah that that's why i switched it to something that i had commissioned for myself so oh. uh, i guess i should um rejoin so yeah, updates on your stream yeah, so people that can might see be a good idea. so i'll be right back Oh, oh nope, no! It's still, it's still oh the no! Butler. Oh, uh, let me just. Uh, can you? Uh, if I send you my um, the picture. I've made something on a world um, building forum if you're based wanting on to them, switch this but up just for coming yourself, up with my own lore was since difficult. Since I use Fuji yeah. Tech, set yourself a Fuji Tech and set your profile picture with that, and then it should you, change it. Uh, future. Oh, goodness, yeah, I don't Fuji, know. Yeah, Fuji F U G I Tech. Let's see, I've considered getting a con line for a species from my favorite video game since I've made something on world building. Got see, but just coming up with my own lore is difficult enough. Honestly, there's no wrong way to do a con line. So if you are making, like, even with um, Rain, which is like my baby, um, the language came first and then the lore. Like, I didn't start making, like, lore, pantheon, proverbs, and things like that until like four years after I started making the con lane because it was after I already made the con lane that people were like, hey, you're putting a lot of effort into this. You should put this in some D&D &D shit. And I did. And D&D &D was a massive inspiration for me to actually work on some lore and work on some culture because culture is a massive influence on like things such as like taboos and things like that so having D, D as like a stepping stone for that was a very big step for adding a lot more and adding a lot more life to my con line so maybe think about uh getting into some D, D stuff and maybe you'll find something uh worthwhile in um culture and character creation and such like that uh -huh. okay i just oh, i see you i see your little character now yay <laughs> Good. and i'll put you over here yep it's it's more suited to what my whole uh, OC is for for streaming. So <laughs> right, you look very bardic, honestly. <laughs> is that kind of the aesthetic that you're going for? And I'm well, not I'm not even meaning this like the the stereotypical D and D bard. You just give off a very musical and confident vibe. No, I'm a mage. If, ah. if it would be in a um <laughs> in D and D wise, pretty much. So. <laughs> Because I grew up um, with role-playing par um, parents, so... Ooh. Yeah. 
my dad still has his books um yeah so <laughs> nice the second edition dang advanced D&D something that you don't really hear uh, a lot of is a um a D and D. Pretty much, you you hear about like normal D and D, but not a D and D. Right. So you typically only hear about that. like OG D and D, D and D three point five, and fifth ed. Yeah, and nothing about advanced. Nothing about D &D. two or four. <laughs> yeah. Like, my dad also has uh, Cyberpunk uh, oh. 2013 and I think 20, 20, uh, 2020? Uh, yes. Cyberpunk, yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2020. Dang. Goodness, trying to remember. Also, Friday Night Fight Club, what um, before it became Cyberpunk as well, so. Oh. Um, my dad also owns books for uh, riffs. I've only made a few words uh, most that refer people to specific things, uh, and I've even won't made know what riffs is. Ten. I can easily explain it. So, mm. because so riffs is set in a post-apocalyptic Earth after the ley lines activated and wiped out ninety percent of the Earth's population and rifts started to open up in in part, uh, different parts of the world as spewing forth uh, creatures or entities from different dimensions pretty much mm. like the people who survived in Mexico have water guns to defend themselves from vampires oh. yeah since these vampires don't do too well from running water Normally you would see, oh, it's a vampire. No, you throw garlic in. No, it's water. Just pure H2O. Squirt it at them. They take mega damage. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's just silly. That's silly. And I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah. And it's the combat is very realistic. So normally in D&D, &D, oh, you roll and you attack. The enemy takes damage. There we go. In Rifts... You roll to attack, they roll to see if they can evade your attack. They, the NPCs actually have actions, they move. Because oh. why would you sit, stand still and get hit? You would move pretty much out of the way. So it's very dynamic in that part. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, my dad had many funny stories with with that like his great analogy of the two um damage types in riffs is you got normal damage and then you got mega damage basically you're fighting a tank you have a handgun you shoot the tank it does nothing because you did normal damage tank shoots at you you just go disappear because you took mega damage there we go end of <laughs> literally that's it that's the next explaining two damage types hmm. just go gun tank yep makes sense gotta keep it simple but yeah right uh, <laughs> but it's very interesting with rifts because you also can um bring in if you have the crossover books you can have um like there's an anime well i would say cartoon of robotech oh um, i've heard of robotech Yes, so Robotech is a uh, is the American adaptation of Macross, pretty much the Japanese uh, Gundam anime, mm. pretty much. And so Robotech universe can uh, be put into Rifts universe. So you there's a because of Rifts, uh, uh, Rifts open up, you can bring in the Gundams from Robotech and use it though you don't really have the power supply because all the the fuel source is in the uh, from the robotech universe you have to go to that uh. so yeah it it's nice nice we're, we're uh how they 
do that pretty much with the cro uh, crossovers, pretty much. Huh. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, my dad's just been, been like role playing for 30 plus years, so. Dang. Yeah. And he's a very. He is a good DM. Though recently he hasn't been able to get the chance to like role play to, um, pretty much because he doesn't really have anyone to role play with uh, for a friends group. We we left them behind when we had to move uh, from st uh, to a different state. So yeah, yeah. kind of love when that happens. Mm hmm. But um. It's very interesting, uh, interesting that for me to talk about my parents, mainly my dad, I don't really talk about much about my mum, but them being both gaming parents, so pretty much growing up as a gamer kid. <laughs> right. A true definition of a gamer kid, because I have gaming parents. There we go. <laughs> yeah. It's it's wonderful. So, mm. when if I'm late to dinner, my mum understands that if I'm doing like a playing an MMO, pretty much, right. and I'm doing a raid or dungeon, my mum understands. Oh, okay, you're doing that. Once you finish, you can just grab your food, pretty much. So, yeah, it's it is nice to have those types of parents, oh. though, in turn. Or, or other things, but yeah. Oh. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. I should explain myself to your stream, should I? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, yeah? Yeah, because I'm a total stranger <laughs> to everyone in your stream. Yes, <laughs> so introduce yourself. Okay, so uh, my name's Ka Calavoid, as you've seen in, in the chat. I'm currently on hiatus, because I'm trying to rework everything, but I am a variety streamer. I enjoy playing the games that I, I enjoy, and enjoy keeping everyone company, and if they have problems, they are more than welcome. To chat to me because I am a very caring person. Prior to d Twitch, I did YouTube and I did podcasts, <laughs> and they would go for so long. But mm -hmm. majority of the time, when I came to to Twitch, I did first off VR chat, but that died down to me playing. Uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Minecraft, because I have a very creative mind. I'm trying to explain that to a teacher today, uh, yesterday was, yeah, hard. But I enjoy visualizing uh, things and making them actual. So hence why I enjoy Minecraft, because I'm able to real um, bring out the ideas in my head. Pretty much, even though generally at times I do it by myself. But on top of that, I am trying to also make uh, a, a VR world for people to come to. Because I want people to experience the RP that I've had by m with me and my friends uh, on that. So they can see the world of... Uh, in Calador Void, my OC. So, see the eight foot tall elf <laughs> going. They just see this eight foot tall elf and going, Why are you bloody tall? Because he's a void born. He has a void entity inside of him. Hence, why he's. It makes him a little bit taller. A little bit. Because elves are generally tall by nature. Right. So, so. Him being eight foot tall, perfectly fine to some people. Um, when he's not going around adventuring, he works at a tavern. Pretty much so, hence uh, me wanting to have a, uh, a tavern attire 
Yes. So I'm currently working on, on the tavern. Mm. So, yeah. That's very interesting. My tavern, because it has a tree growing through it that has uh, lunar lilies that are like crystal flowers, mm -hmm. but they can be any color. Mm. So it's it looks very pretty. So, yeah. Um... Man, why do I have issues trying to chat even more? <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Oh, like, so, uh, let's see. Zelda said earlier, I only made a few words that refer to specific things, and, I've been, and I even made the numbers 1 through 10. Hey, you're a bean, too. Um, but hey, that's a really good start. Like, don't think like you have to make a whole bunch of stuff for your con lane first thing like i've had my like i've had rain going on for six years it has taken me six years to get to 1200 words like there's no there's no race to get to what you want to make that there, there's nothing like that do it on your own time do what makes you comfortable you can look at other conlayers for influence but don't think that you have to make conlings like theirs yeah the best analogy try not to yeah compare yourself to others just compare to yourself mm. pretty much that's the best um way to look at at things yeah yeah, it definitely take time because you don't want to stress yourself out and it just bogs you down and you feel like you don't want to c continue. You generally just take it easy, as Road has said, and yeah, just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it if you can. So, <laughs> things that I've been learning the yeah. past week. Yeah, and believe me, I still struggle with like going at what my actual pace is. It's hard to realize what your own pace is when society regularly teaches you to go by other people's pace because other people's paces and what they need is more important than your needs. Throw that out the window. It's going to be hard, but throw it out the window. It's the best thing that you can ever do. I feel like we might need to re, re, um, re-say this because there's an ad going on. Duh. <laughs> Dag fucking nabbit. Yep. Goodness gracious. Got, got to love when ads just suddenly pop up and go... Hey, you want to hear something? No. You gotta wait right. through either three or five ads. I'm going, really? Why does it have to be that many ads? To make you ask questions. Yes. To literally ask <laughs> goddamn questions. Um. Like, pretty much, because I said hi to you at, like, my beginning of the, of my week for right. school. Uh, this was, I think, on my Monday, your Sunday, roughly, because... Okay. Time zones. Yes, time zones. I'm Australian, so... <laughs> yeah, you're getting a lot of Aussies. First, first yeah. Sega, now you, dang. Yeah. Though, the Zay's on the East Coast and I'm Central, so mm. I have the weird half time that, oh, wait, yeah. that confuses the crap out of everyone because there's only a 30 minute difference between Central and Eastern. <laughs> how, how do you compute that? 
You just go with the flow. There we go. That, that's how you compute it. You just go with the flow. Okay, like, yeah, Austria, sure. like, Austria... Like, Austria has three three time zones. Technically, it goes up more when daylight savings hits. So next month, uh, I will be underneath daylight savings. So I go ahead an hour. And so um, Brisbane, that's on the east um, east coast, doesn't have daylight savings. So I'm 30 minutes ahead of them when daylight savings hit, even though I live in central time zone it's just yeah and then you got so it goes from three to five don't ask me why it goes up to five technically there's a little bit more there's like this small section in western australia that has a 45 minute difference australia's just weird that's all <laughs> all i will well, say I mean, australia, australia is just weird huge. yes it is the largest island continent so, you know, even though the majority of the population lives While on some the coast, earlier, I decided to count how many there are people who I live made. in the scent when not including in, the like, numbers, inland, I've made a total of just not a lot months. since all well, that. Though, the Australian government is wanting to um, green up more of the interior, pretty much by. Um, getting water to flow down um, from North Queensland down into you know, in between uh, South, Austra uh, South Australia, Victoria, the Northern Territory and uh, South West uh, corner of uh, Queensland. So yeah. Just to get more greens, have more areas to, for farm. Right. They just need to be careful of the indigenous people. Since Australia has the oldest native um, pop, uh, population right. in the world. So, and majority of the native population we do not touch because we are respecting their their values and traditions, so we don't um, touch them. The whole the whole term of mob generally comes from Australia because that's what the indigenous people, the tribes are called, are mobs. So and there's there's over two hundred and fifty something mobs. In Australia. It was a really interesting <laughs> term, because, like, mob has a totally different connotation. Yeah. In, over here in the U.S. Like, when I hear mob, I think folks that are, like, going, like, flipping torches and pitchforks. Hmm. And not a... A, a group not, of... Not well. like a tribe or a clan, which sounds mm. more akin to, like, what you guys use mob as. Yeah. And even though we have over 250 plus different mobs, they all have different languages. And you can't learn them online. You have to have permission from the elders to learn their uh, language, like where hey. I live. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a lot of languages. People who enjoy learning multiple languages would love it here in Australia. Right. Well, I mean, I'm more surprised um, how strict this, how strict it is. Um, which, I mean, frankly, I think that that, um, like, the fact that you have to go through a specific regimen and work with, um, like, work with the elders to like to learn a language, like, that's interesting. But it, mm. at least from, at least in the context of what I know, I don't know how, how well, like, the Australian in Indigenous folks have been treated, but, like, just thinking about how, um, how Native Americans have been treated, I can understand the idea of it, because, like, you don't want people to, um, randomly, like, be learning a language or say like oh yeah i would have learned this language and then pull a white savior kind of spiel mm. 
At least that, that's how I'm interpreting it. Yeah, like, here, and sadly Monkey's not here, because um, with the one of our universities here in Australia, um, pretty much, Uni, uh, Uni SA, so Uni South Australia, uh, the uh, the um, no good principal, pretty much the person who runs over the you know, university, mm. got a welcoming by the um, one of the mobs called the Ghana, the by the Ghana people. And it, he was not an Australian born. He was born in Ireland. So, so, so he was the first outsider to get a very special welcoming and acceptance by the Ghana people. So, yeah. Wow. Since um, people who live in South Australia are basically, obviously, descendants of the colonizers, South Australia is well, was the only t uh, state to not take land. Well, they asked permission. Um, so, and you see a lot of German, um, what else, Greek, uh, and a bunch of European, Mediterranean, and Balkan, um, uh, as the, uh, as the, uh, English failing me. As the, yes. This is, yeah, uh, groups, pretty much. Especially with German, uh, since they, they helped with um, SA. We have a place called Handorf, mm. and it's literally a German town, and they make good, good food, because Germans have always have good food, so. Yeah. Um, but no, the within schools, uh, before like assembly, pretty much before everything, like go down to business, like with uh, handing up awards and all that, a spokesman, pretty much, or a person who is indigenous, comes up and pretty much says say say thank you to the Ghana people. Pretty much because of where it is. It's different depending on where you are in in South Australia. Just where main Adelaide um, part is uh, the Ghana people uh, territory, pretty much. And so they say thank you. And so we are respecting their land, pretty much. And we're sharing the land of the Ghana people. So... The whole emphasis of being kind, um, kind and respectful to the indigenous people mm. is very prevalent in SA. I believe it's also in the other states, but it it's more prevalent in South Australia. Yeah, I mean, there's some so. areas in the states that try to be respectful to that try to be respectful to the indigenous folks that have mm. lived and used to live in, in the areas like where I used to go to college at um, one of my linguistics professors uh, at the start of every semester would always um, like take a moment of silence and take a moment to talk about how hey we're on but we're on stolen land we need to respect the, the people who used to have been and continue to live here at like and like those who's mm. like just acknowledge like do more than just acknowledge the the baseline history of the the colonialist past of the u.s which continues yeah. on to this day with like residential schools and such like that yeah like the you know one thing for the viewers the more you get to know me you see that i'm almost a history nut i love my history i like to learn about di uh, different countries history and mainly because of a game that got me into it <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so 
Um, hence why I enjoy like reading about um, what has happened in the world. Because it, it is nice to remember the history, pretty much. Mm. Hence why I l like listening to a certain band, um, pretty much, because they their music is about history. So... Wait, um, I think I have an idea on who it might be, because I know some folks... Hold on, give me a moment. I'm yep. going to uh, mute and go back uh, and be back super quick. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back. I'm probably going to do like a five. I'm going to do a 10 minute intermission. Okay. You're all beans. Head pads for all.
Oh heck, am I too late? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry for the sudden intermission. There was a little bit of a miscommunication between Top Hat and I where um, things got a little scary. Um, there wasn't like a fight or argument or anything like that, just a living situation is interesting it's okay intermission happens yeah but um i probably don't want to stick around on stream too much longer so i'm gonna be speed running through the rest of this process for working on rinka um after that i'm probably just gonna be just leaving and trying to recoup after a little bit of a scare the top hat and i had <laughs> What's about you chuckling? Hmm? No, uh, it just me, me uh, my chuckling generally indicates that I understand. It's just uh, me. <laughs> so yeah. Just generally how my brain works. It's mm. just yeah. You're good. Uh, uh, yeah, top hat's just out right now I'm getting the food. Mm 
Actually, Kella, you haven't seen uh, Top Hat when he's played with me, or like played games with me, have you? No. Um, there's a well, few clips yet. on my channel actually where you can see um, like him playing Super Mario Sunshine with me. I I highly recommend those those clips. Okay. For some reason, I really want to play, uh, sing a tune, but <laughs> I'm going to overtake your stream. Because mm -mm. uh, it's... F for me, I have a, I have a point, uh, point thing for if someone um, pretty much uses a thousand points. I do a small... A minute-ish long uh, song, though. When people hear it, they go, "Oh, what are you saying?" And I will reply back, "I don't know what I'm saying, but it's not meant to be understood. It's meant to be heard. Mm -hmm. Like you listen to the tones of it. Um, it's something that I've been doing." roughly when I was a kid it's rough uh, roughly mm. and it's something that my mum did to, um, did when I was younger just to calm tensions and all that it was very calming of what mum, my mum did um, mm. if you want and it, it is up to you if you want to hear it or not and the rest of the stream to hear it it is a choice because I don't yeah. want to do it and go, yeah, overtake it. So, yeah, no, I, I appreciate um, the offer. I think right now, now, um, um, yeah, right now might not be a good point. I do that, does yeah. remind me, I think I have a point thing to where um, people can have me do a song cover thing, but I think that's going to be a good amount of points. Yeah. No, it's perfectly fine. It's all, it is always good to ask if you can do something or not. Mm. It's just being, it's common courtesy. Oh, yeah. And so when I, when I, when I did ask if I could join, and so, so, yeah. yeah. Which I appreciate. <laughs> yes. Did y'all know that you're amazing people and adorable beings? Well, it takes one to know one, Zelda. Thank you. Yes, I, I know I'm a bean. Yes, I admit I am a bean. But everyone else is a bean. Oh, okay. go. <laughs> know you, Dusk. I said it takes one to know one, so if I'm a bean, then you're a bean. That's how it is. That, that, that's how it is. <laughs> I'm a bean drinking. Oh, God. Damn ad breaks. Grr. Beans. Beans.
Well, finally my ad break is done. Nice. I'm being a little bit of silly at the moment. I'm a bean drinking iced coffee. Even though the, the, the effects on me isn't the greatest, but okay. I I enjoy the taste. That's all. I just enjoy the taste of iced coffee. But if I'm wanting something hot, then I would drink tea. Sometimes two different types of tea bags together to have yeah, an interesting I actually, flavor. I actually like having like multiple kinds of tea together. I've actually done a thing um, during a friend's donation stream, like before I even got into the VTubing stream, the VTubing scene myself, um, I did a thing uh, because I, I did it in solidarity when I had donated for a friend's cause because they were raising money to keep an LGBT organization up and running in our area. Mm. Um, I donated a pretty large amount of money, and because and when it, uh, I brought a, I brought my friend to a milestone where they had to make a milkshake using a whole bunch of jelly beans. And out of solidarity, I decided that I would do what I now coin a Franken tea, where I take every single, like I take one of every single flavor of tea that I have, and I brew it into the, the I brew it into a thing of tea. Mm. And I had like, a, during that point when I was doing it in solidarity for a friend, I had like 20 different flavors of tea from uh, caffeinated to decaffeinated. There, there were many types of tea. <laughs> okay. And it was a surprisingly decent uh, flavor at the end. Mm. My, my body, it took, it took my body a little bit before it was like, this is too much of something and it's like I, I had let, let's just say I, I had my own uh, porcelain throne for a while <laughs> mm. but I, I don't regret it it was it, it was fun in a very cathartic way ah oh, nah it's always good to just experiment with some teas and then drink it. Yep. Mm. Perfect guy. So, uh, if I'm feeling quite Australian when drinking some tea, I'll have a nice toast with a lot of butter and a little bit of Vegemite. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how does... How good is the taste of Vegemite? It's bloody salty. Yeah, I've heard it's really salty. Yeah, because it's a uh, yeast extract from beer. Oh. So, yeah. So, hence why it's salty. But you don't put put so much on. You only put a little bit. It's only the people who really like Vegemite, they will put a lot onto their toast. So... For me, I don't, I don't mind it. Will I eat it constantly? No, I only have it once in a while. So, no, for my breakfast, it's wheat bix, and that's a nice, healthy-ish type of cereal. So, <laughs> it becomes unhealthy when you put sugar with it. So. Well, I mean, yeah, because just just imagining, considering how salty you say Vegemite is, com combining. Combining the salty and sweet is fine when you have like, I don't know, adding a little bit of salt in a chocolate chip cookie. But that, mm. oof. Yeah, no. 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 With Whitbix. So, so Whitbix is uh, a wheat biscuit. That's all it is. It's just wheat, compressed wheat into a biscuit. And you can either have it 
as the brick, or you can scrunch it up pretty much and have it fill up the bowl and then you add milk with it. So, or yogurt, depending on what type of um, liquid or soft, uh, soft uh, product into it that's mm. edible. I'm going to say it needs to be edible. Please do not put anything that's not. It's bad. Just bad. There we go. Just bad. It sounds <laughs> but, like uh, you have uh, an experience that's not suitable for Twitch that might. <laughs> like, I I'm curious, but, but if you don't want to, like, talk about it, like, that's totally understandable. There are people who like to put strange things into their cereal, okay? It's in any in any type of cereal, so I'm just not gonna go there. It's just better to either use whatever milk that you like, so, like soy milk, mm. lactose-free milk, um, oat, rice. Rice is interesting because it's a very watery milk because, well, it's rice. Right. So, um, yeah. Or when it comes to I don't know why I'm just talking about food. I guess it just pops up in my mind. I need to talk about that at times. I mean, food is uh, nice. Yes. Like, with pancakes. Um, how uh, my dad makes it, and I picked it up, is... And I think my mum also does it as well. Uh, we don't actually put milk in it. We put powdered milk into the whole um, mixture, pretty much. And just add water. And because powdered milk has a very interesting uh, flavor to it, and so it just makes it makes the pancake all not taste quite nice, especially if you put butter and maple syrup. There we go, mm. perfect pancake. So, and I've gotten better at not burning pancakes because <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that. I used to forget is to turn down the heat pretty much when you're making uh, multiple batches of pancakes right. because if you keep keep it at um, the current like at the heat that you had it for the first one you start to burn the rest because you can see the um, smoke or steam coming off off of the pan so you want to turn it down where you don't see it but it still cooks the um pancakes mm. okay for advice <laughs> definitely after this i'll play some more pokemon because i like my pocket yeah are you excited for scarlet and violet Yes, I'm very interested in the open worldness. Like it is, they say it's the first uh, open world Pokemon, like mainstream Pokemon game, because they've been learning from Sword and Violet. Uh, no, not Sword and Violet. Sword and, Sword and Shield. Shield. Yes, with the Wild Area, pretty much, mm. and their and they um, DLCs. They experimented with it a little bit more with Legends Arceus. Yes. And now they go, oh, it works really well. Let's just bring it, do it fully um, open world, pretty much. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, to it. I've heard some information, some more information about it, pretty much, since I've watched some YouTube videos uh, about the, um, what they are adding, the Pokemon. Uh, the new type of Pokemons that they have, so oh wait, there's yeah. gonna be a new there's gonna be new Pokemon types. Uh, well, not written. No, uh, it's still gonna be the same. I uh, when I mean okay, need to put it into context. Yeah. With the uh, new Pokemon, I just say types because mm. I just words that get added. So Sorry, the new Pokemon like, look cool. There's Pokemon typings. It's like the last time that they added the new. Pokemon type was Pokemon X was a fairy type. Yes. Um, technically, you could say that the terrestrial is a new type typing, 
per se because mm -hmm. it changes how the Pokemon's type is. So let's say you have a Flareon, but its terrestrial typing is water. So instead of and and when you terrestrial your Flareon, instead of being a fire type, it's a water type. Pretty much, it's a water type Flareon. <laughs> so uh, that's really cool that they have the whole terrestrial because you always need to have a gimmick you know um pokemon game like for sword and shield Give me it was a the sec, uh Kala. Hmm? Uh, i need to talk with top hat super quick no super quick all good Some Burger King. Oh, nice. Some Hungry Jacks. Huh. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. Why do you guys call it hundred Hungry Jacks uh, over there instead of BK? So, is there uh, a, the like reason... a licensing thing? Pretty much uh, in South Australia, there was already a restaurant called Burger King, so the name was already trademarked in Australia. So hence where they had to rename themselves to Hungry Jacks. There you go. <laughs> that's the, the, more that's you the know. story. Yep. You learn something new every day. Yeah. That's actually kind of neat, not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, the only Australian, like, fast food place that's M mainly Australian is Roostic, uh, Red Rooster. There we go. Red Rooster. What does Red Rooster sell? Chicken, but instead of being uh, crispy chicken, it's like you can buy a whole chicken from Red Rooster. So they do oh, more so of do the. They do like rotisserie. Uh, roughly, they also do shredded, like they shred it up, put it onto like a long sandwich, almost like a sub, but different. Like and a put mayonnaise hobby? with it. Uh, roughly. Um, they do do chips, but I'm not really a big fan of Red, uh, Red Ruder. And I, I will say, say that because of Red Ruder, because the t some most of the time they are pretty rude, so hence Red Ruder for uh, for the slight slang yeah. uh, for, for it. So um, for me, I rather enjoy uh, HJ's or uh, KFC. I'm so tempted to say Kif uh, Kifkaf, but people are going, "What the heck are you saying?" <laughs> Say, mean, saying. Tell me, tell me a little bit about about Kif Kaf. I'm curious. So, uh, I've explained this to a, another streamer friend, and they got really antsy because they uh, had to ask a one of their Australian friends. But Kif Kaf is basically a saying that me and my family, uh, it's mainly started with my mum, uh, say. Instead of KFC, we say Kif Kaf. Because uh, in our minds, it sounds quicker than KFC. I mean, 
that's understandable. Yeah, and well, Australians love to say things shortened, even though Kivkaf is technically not shortened, it just sounds qu quicker. Yeah, it just <laughs> sounds quicker. I mean, in regards to like pronunciation, it is quicker because it's two syllables compared to three. Hmm. When you technically categorize like pronouncing every letter as a syllable, because in a way you yeah. can basically do that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, the pretty much the chips. If I'm comparing chips, not not fries. Even though yes, fries is an American saying for the chips. Hot chips. There we go. Even better. Mm. I prefer KF's, uh, Kif Kaf's hot chips over the uh, other fast foods. Oh, really? Because they're, yeah, they're nice and hot. They are slightly soft-ish, and they're more um, chunkier than Mac uh, Macca's mm. uh, fries, pretty much. And the nice thing about all the restaurants, so Hungry Jack's, KFC, KFCAF, and Macca's uh, frat chips in total. They all have chicken salt on them. Mm. And you mainly only find that in Australia of chicken salt, since chicken salt is Australian. Mm. So. Interesting. And, and it's not made with like chicken. It was, uh, chicken salt was when it was first invented was meant to be sprinkled on chicken. But the guy goes, it tastes quite well on chips. So now it's just everywhere. Recipes vary pretty much on um, which uh, store that sells chips. Pretty much like our fish and chips will have chicken salt on theirs or chicken chip, chicken chip shops as well. Had a wonderful, um, I, place where I got a nice AB pack from and the owners were lovely. Nice. Got it. So got like a discount on my food since I was a regular. So mm, nice. And I always get the spicy sauce on my uh, AB uh, AB pack. So uh, that's another thing to explain what an AB pack is. It's, it's AB is short for atomic bomb. But it's a, a halal um, snack, uh, snack pack. Pretty much, it's basically either shredded f uh, pork, uh, no, shredded lamb, or shredded chicken, or falafel on a, a load of chips. And you have, uh, you can choose which sauces you have onto your uh, AB pack. Or you can have it all, and hence the name AB, because you're having all of the sauces that you can have on it. Wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't taste that nice with all the sauces. <laughs> I, I, I did it before. Sounds like nope. it, Sounds like you learned the hard way. Yes, pretty much. And so I generally have it, had it with her uh, spicy. Now I generally trying to keep down the amount of spice. Um, so I generally have sweet sa uh, sweet chili sauce uh, with sour cream and a little bit of barbecue. That's my main mango. You can have tomato sauce and whatever. You can have up to three different, depending on which store you're getting an AB from. Oh wow! But it's it tastes very nice because the chips are coated in homemade chicken salt. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So, and generally chicken fills me up over um, red meats. Uh, any white meat actually fills me up over red, uh, red meats. So, um, Interesting. Uh, yeah, I found that, that out uh, after of me being a vegetarian for uh, three months. I wasn't feeling myself, so I decided to eat meat. It was a little bit hard to get back into meat because not having meat for three months going, yep. I didn't mind the food, the vegetarian foods. It was quite nice, but mm. uh, I wanted meat back in. So I, the first thing that I had was a chicken parmi. 
and I was quite full. I couldn't actually finish off my chicken parmy, so yeah. Uh, you know what a chicken parmy is, Road? I assume that's like your guys' slang for like a chicken parmigiana? Yep. Yep. Here it's pub food. Mm. <laughs> nice. Good. So. But yes. Uh, love to shorten things. We also like to put beetroot on our burgers. Yeah. I mean, if it works, it works. Oh, it does. The, the sweetness does help with the taste. Pretty much. Nice. Yes, it makes your buns pu purple. Since beetroot likes to be filled with juice and so... Yeah, I mean, beetroot has a very deep color. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like, tamarind... Not, not tamarind. Turmeric has a very notable yellow, like, goldish kind of color to it. Like... Just for like an example, like of like how potent the color of like some foods can be. Yeah. My mind go blank. I'm trying to think. Brain go burr. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, on top of playing Pokemon, I need to set up my VR. Because I finally got it. It finally came a couple of days ago. I just needed to get some converters. Because uh, the sockets, I needed uh, US sockets. Because the uh, the cables have the US um, plugs, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So the straight. And so I needed a US to Australian converter. Because oh. <laughs> our plugs are on a diagonal instead of being straight. Huh. It's only diagonal and straight for our ground. So don't want to try to shove that into yeah that doesn't sound like a good idea no so at least i got some converters so i just need to set that up problem is i'm also waiting for extension cables so i can actually put them up uh, put the base stations up into the roof right so yeah yeah that's understandable because i miss being in vr a lot oh, since I my done uh, VR in a really good while. Because <laughs> uh, I used to play a lot with my Rift S until that died. They don't last long. Mm. Like I used to have a CV1. The cable died. It wanted to twist itself to death. Oof. Yeah, and because at the time, uh, Oculus stopped produ production of CV1, so I couldn't get a replacement cable. Yeah, so uh. I, ha I had to throw away my CV1. And I don't want to. It's a pain when companies stop production of right. things that actually built to last. Yeah, Pretty much because it. everything just loves to go... Uh, Everything is just going to like uh, built-in ops, uh, like uh, I'm forgetting like the the first word for it, the adjective, but like something obsolescence. Mm. It's like like everything is built to like not last anymore. It's more built to start deter purposefully deteriorating so that um, you feel more incentive to partake in FOMO and get new quote-unquote state-of-the-art equipment when in reality it's not really doing you any good. The only thing that it's really yeah. doing you is fitting into the status quo. Yeah. And at times I generally don't want to fit in the status quo. I want to just 
do what I want mm -hmm. at times. Okay. Freedom. Freedom is doing what you want. Let's see. I need to get gloves to handle my Pokemon cards carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you notice that? Is there, um, like fading from like the the oil from like your hands? Uh, yeah. At majority of the time, uh, I do see a lot. Like I used to, uh, with my older um, Pokemon cards, it, they have really deteriorated. Like I have to try to find them, and hopefully, I did not throw them out. Because I have a rare um, Pokemon card because it's Japanese. Oh. And generally, finding Japanese cards in other countries is generally rare. Uh, so, yeah, I really want to find that because I did promise um, my mum's partner's like, kid to show them my um, my old Pokemon cards. So, right. Yeah. Because I, I grew up um, watching Pokemon and uh, playing like Pokemon Ruby, um, oh. Sapphire Enameled. That was, that was my first Pokemon uh, game that I got introduced to from my older sister. Well, brother at first, now sister. So. Well, hey, they, they're your sister, <laughs> so sister. Yep. Yes. Don't need to be like just saying this for like reference for you and other folks if you have a sibling who's that uh, who's trans or anything like that there's not really a reason to say oh yeah they're they were my brother and now my sister let yeah. that be something for them to say on their own time if they are yeah. your sister now they're your sister yeah. that's that yeah <laughs> Like I got introduced to a lot of games through my sister, so, and really enjoyed it. Like StarCraft mm. was. I've heard a few, was a my few good things on StarCraft. Yeah, StarCraft One was tough because there was no difficulty setting. It's oh. pretty much hard. It's just on hard, <laughs> and when you're versing Zerg, you get rushed. Hence the whole term Zerg rush is because oh, of StarCraft One. Zerg would just come and own your ass <laughs> with it, so. But it still was a fun game. I enjoyed the story with that. Nice. Uh, and so I now have the remastered version of it, and I have StarCraft 2. I do enjoy my uh, RTS games. Like, next week I'm going to be playing some Stellaris with my um, IRL friend because a cool. new uh, DLC comes out uh, next week, so nice. fun time. And then the week after, we're going to be playing some Hearts of Iron 4, so... Because <laughs> that they also have a D DLC coming out then, so... And they nice. all... Ma um, both games are made by the same company, so... Wonderful. Lovely Sweet. Paradox. Paradox. That definitely sounds like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, like Stellaris is a 4x uh, strategy game. Hmm. So meaning it's a very large, expansive um, game. So you build ships and all that and build your uh, space empire of how you want it. You can be a pacifist, militarist, uh, egalitarian authoritarian spiritualist materialist there's a lot that you can do and it's you can pretty much role play with it you role play your empire mm -hmm. of and give it the direction the game is very good um it's better with friends because it's a large universe trying to play by yourself even with mods it feels very lonely and just playing with friends it's always better when it comes to games with with multiplayer Better with friends. So, yeah. And with Hearts of Iron 4, that's the game that got me interested with history because it is a uh, World War II 
esque simulator, but it has mods with it where you have alternate history with it. So, yeah, like if uh, Germany, there's a mod called Kaiser Redux or Kaiser Reich, where it's about if Germany won World War One and the whole state of that world, pretty much. So, it's very in interesting. Or a Minecraft mod where you just play through um like interesting like uh youtube-ish uh countries pretty much that's based off of like youtube channels oh. like you got uh you got one of the empires that you can play on this minecraft mod is the fallen kingdom so <laughs> get to pretty much go through canon you, you can go through the canon pro process, no like historical process of the Fallen Kingdom, or you can go alternate history with it. So, mm. yeah. Also, Zelda just got a Spanish ad. <laughs> well, that's uh, yes. interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. And then, on top of Archie's games, I like my survival games. Hence me talking about Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I like my Terraria as well. Ah. Yes, I've played a lot of um, vanilla and modded uh, Terraria. I was introduced to uh, modded through a friend, so and I really enjoyed it, and so I got like the main popular one. That's like over popular. <laughs> Right. Over popular, uh, the Calamity mod, so, but still I enjoy it, so there we go. Uh, seven Days to Die, Conan Exiles, that one's an interesting one, Conan Exiles. So, What's uh, that one about? So Conan Exiles, it's a survival game set in the Conan the Barbarian universe. Mm. So that's a old story slash role play yeah i remember so, hearing a little bit about conan the barbarian yeah but it's mainly uh they have two maps with their own stories with it from which you got the exiled lands where you're just a uh, exile in it you have a bracelet on you that you can't take off unless you gather all these materials and there's just a story uh, f through that pretty much but it is a survival game you build up your your base and all that but you also ha have to be ready to deal with um purges so waves of npcs that come in and attack your base but you can have npcs fight and protect your um area they've done a big update where they added in magic finally after many years of not having magic since Conan the Barbarian Universe has magic, so yeah. So that you got got that. Um So hence why it's a nice and the other one is just an island pretty much. But I'm wanting to get all the achievements for. So because Conan Conan Exiles was like my first game that I got all the achievements for. Oh. And so I'm wanting to get the the DLC achievements, so then I've completed Conan Exiles again. So yeah, I, I do enjoy going for achievement hunting. Hmm. Since achievement hunting can be a lot of fun. Yes, but majority of the time I get sidetracked and play other games. I have way too many games. <laughs> <laughs> Though people say, "Oh, you can't have." To um, enough games, pretty much. She have friends that have over a thousand games on Steam. Going, man. Going, what the heck? But uh, so I just go around, play different games. Mm. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay.
have returned. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, that's cool. What, like, uh, get drawn, uh, game genre types that you like, Road? Uh, I tend to prefer JRPGs and rhythm games. Those are what I've known for the longest time. Um, I'm really not that big in uh, first person shooters, just never really been that big on first person games. One of the biggest mm. exceptions is um, Oblivion because my father would play that a lot when I was younger and like I would watch him play and it looks like a lot of fun <laughs> and it's especially a lot of fun in uh, VR like VR is one of the few exceptions where I will do first person because it's not a first person game per se like I'm controlling somebody else I am myself interacting in another world in another game yeah. and I and that's kind of the charm of VR that that I really like. Yeah, like I I enjoy um, for VR. I enjoy Blade and Sorcery. That was like my favorite game go to to release stress mm. is Blade and Sorcery. Um, though I get a little bit too into it <laughs> when I do play Blade and Sorcery, I start to spew some. Uh, Warhammer Forty K. Uh, just Warhammer Forty K, like blood yeah. for the blood god, skulls for the skull friend. Uh, I go go into berserk mode and just go ham <laughs> when it comes to. I mean, long as you're having fun. Oh yeah. Um, but I like what other VR games I have. I have a god simulator game called uh, Decem. Uh, it's a very interesting game where you just you make your own world and you put in different terrains pretty much uh, the higher the faith of the NPCs it f pretty much it reminds me of th those types of games the god simulators like oh, I'm trying to figure out you've got spore you got create oh okay first and all that so yeah but I really like spore <laughs> So that I can't play it on my computer because it crashes. Oh. <laughs> Spore was fun. Um, but no, yeah. I understand with first person shooters. I used to be, I used to enjoy first person shooters. Now I only play like a handful of them. I'm more into my survival, uh, uh, um, RTS and MMORPGs. So, I've played too many MMORPGs. Too many. Could have started out with World of Warcraft. Can See, I, I have mixed experiences and mixed feelings with MMOs. Because, like, my mm. very first... Um, my very first um, MMO was in, like, the early 2000s, Fliff. Fly for Fun. Really cute mm. and really simple character design, but uh, trying to play anything uh, was like quickly behind a paywall that just like I couldn't afford, even though I wanted to play it. So just very quickly, uh, I just wasn't really able to keep up with the game. Yeah. Um, I didn't know there were games like Mobby Nogi, um, which Mobby Nogi mm. would have been good for me when I was younger, but when I was uh, part of the era of like when companies were really starting to experiment with 
uh, pay-to-play MMOs, so like Parts of the Caribbean, Toontown, things like that. Mm. So I didn't really get into the MMO scene until very late. Um, and then, like, my experiences are kind of, eh, not all that great. More so yeah. because of um, a combo of drama that others would instigate and I would instigate among my friend groups when we would when we would play. Yeah, no, no that's perfectly understandable like yeah i did grow up with wow because my pa my parents would play wow uh, and so i got into it in uh two, 2006 roughly <laughs> so i was quite little <laughs> when i first got into the um mmo scene i enjoyed wow at that time now i don't i enjoy like game MMOs that have good story. Hence why I enjoyed 14. Hence why I really enjoyed 14. But I but when it comes to MMOs, it is those genres are there to play, make new friends or play with friends. Trying to play it by yourself, it's hard to keep interest when you got no one to play with. Definitely. So and so I, I've moved around like through the different uh, MMOs. Like I've played Star Trek Online. Quite uh, interesting since it is canon of sorts. Yeah. With the my Star dad Trek universe. Is a massive Trekkie. He's been really trying to get me into Star Trek Online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dad's also a Trekkie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I would when I was younger watched. Uh, uh, the toss era so the original series and then into next generation and all that mm. i i enjoy my my star trek yes klingon is i don't i don't want to try to learn it <laughs> yeah, i have very mixed feelings uh regarding any of the conlays that marco print has touched on mm. he worked on klingon for star trek he worked on atlantean actually for the disney movie atlantis lost empire Okay. There's been a few popular uh, con links that he's worked on, but mm. I ha I have mixed feelings for a lot of popular con langers that have contributed to that that have contributed to popular works like David Peterson. I also have some choice words. Yeah, no, nah, but perfectly fine. Like, well, my dad's also a. A Hoovarian. Oh, a Hoovian? Yeah, Hoovian. Just how I pronounce things. <laughs> but yes, uh, my dad uh, still owns like a tin case of, uh, I don't know, I uh, don't know which anniversary, but it's like a Dalek tin case. It's very battered, but it still has like the VHS of the original oh. Doctors. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pretty VHS, so. that would be because hmm. I know the revamp with uh, the Doctor was in the early 2000s and that was with the ninth Doctor with Eccleston. Yes. And by that mm -hmm. point, like, VHSs were practically obsolete. Yeah. Um, yeah, like my, my dad's actually get, getting me a uh, Tom Baker and a Dalek yes. for, for my birthday pre uh, present. Since I actually have a Tom, um, the, I have Tom Baker as a pop, um, uh, pop toy in my room, pretty much. So I don't have anywhere to actually place him, but mm. he's, a, he's still in this is his case. But yeah, nice. I, I lo love the fourth Doctor, so I, I really enjoyed the... Doctor Who series, even though currently on my desk, I have a Weeping Angel. I'm going, yeah, I'm not going to face it towards me because I do not like Weeping Angels. <laughs> They're like the most terrifying. I mean, I actually uh, am friends with someone who was born and raised in the UK. Like she was raised with 
OG Doctor Who. And, yeah. like, she remembers when she and her classmates, when she was younger, when Doctor Who was out, like, people were legit afraid of the Daleks. <laughs> oh, I, love, I love the Daleks. The different, the different eras of Daleks. Oof. Man, the different versions of them are cool. And, it's, and also the Cybermen. The different variants of Cybermen. Oh, the Cybermen. <laughs> Actually, so, uh, Top Hat and I have been going through uh, Doctor Who on HBO, and we've recently finished up watching uh, the episode of the Cybermen from like the alternate universe of London. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that one was a very cool e episode. Now I'm just visualizing it. <laughs> Uh, my my memory being being somewhat photographic, so I can remember um, a fair bit of things if people are talking about it. So I'm going, okay, so that episode, yep, I can now visualize it, seeing right, seeing right. that alternate uh, universe, yep. <laughs> so yeah, no, I enjoy enjoy that. Uh, another sci-fi series called Babylon 5. Oh, yeah, my dad's told me about Babylon 5. Mm. The creator of Babylon 5 is wanting to remake it Ooh. with the latest technologies. And so it's going to be more improved. Uh, unlike most um, like remasters of old television series, um, where they don't really... They're not really the greatest. Mm. So, but with the, the guy who's remaking uh, Babylon 5, he, it's going to be a new story. Since oh. he can't, he it's can't not gonna redo. It's going to be a remake, it's going to be a continuation. Pretty much. It's, it's a continuation, but it's at the, the point of the original series. Pretty much. It's just with different characters. Because you can't get the old characters because. Uh, time, right? And he uh, he understands that. So and so, it's going to be new characters, but still in, at the same timeline of when the original series. So hence, it's a remake, but slash continuation, I guess. Ah. So it's nice, yeah. Like how the guy depicted, like space combat and how, like the station Babylon Five, it rotates to generate gravity. It's, it was very realistic and good for its time. Like, with lasers, yes, it cuts ships in half. Not like Star Trek where it just hits a shield and, or if there's no shield, just hits the vessel and goes, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it, it, it is an actual laser that cuts through. So it's, it was wonderful. Um, what else? You got Blake 7. Um, I grew up with a lot of sci-fi because of my dad mm. um, then on normal television uh, One Piece okay yep like the very first episode of One Piece and look at One Piece now too many episodes I mean that's a lot of shonen not just One Piece <laughs> but like flipping Bleach Naruto to the point to where it has a reboot co sequel continuation theme with his fucking kid yep um, I say this as someone that has never actually watched the Naruto series I was not allowed to <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the Naruto series uh, most people wouldn't know that Pokemon it is an anime at that at the time when you were younger because it was in in english so people thought oh it was a great a cartoon no it's an anime right and it's it has Especially more episodes with, than like, one piece stupid flipping dub by four kids be like oh i just love these jelly donuts when they're fucking onigiri <laughs> oh good <laughs> jelly donuts uh, that reminds me of a YouTuber, but hey. 
goodness gracious. Goddamn jelly and jelly filled donut. They're onigiri. They're not, they don't even have jelly in them. God I mean, it. they can have fillings in them sometimes, and they can be pretty good. Like flipping not salmon. Like salmon's one of my favorite, actually. No, oh, tuna's yeah. one so, of my favorites. Ooh, yes, tuna. Tuna. All but the tuna. Jelly, like fucking, like jelly? Jam and fucking onigiri? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, man. I, I enjoyed po Pokemon as a kid. And so now with the whole games and all that. Um, what else did I watch? On top of One Piece. Uh, just mainly cartoons. Like Team Titans. Uh, Teen Titans is a good one. Yeah, old Teen Titans better than the new one. Oh, be absolutely. <laughs> Fuck Teen Titans Go. Fuck yeah. Teen Titans Go. The creators of Teen Titans Go admitted that they have never watched a lick of the original Teen Titans. What in the actual fuck? Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Just like that. What, what else? But no. Nah. Um, I enjoyed that. I, I enjoy my books, even though the first time I ever read was actually playing a video game because I refused to read a book when I was younger. <laughs> I learned how to read for Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing. Nice. <laughs> My and parents people go, say you can't learn shit from video games. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, hence why I'm a fast learner when it comes to games, or in general, pretty much, is because Gonna let Dusk know Crash, that the art seems Crash to be Team Racing. My well. parents go, go nice. if you want to play your game, you've got to learn um, how the, uh, learn to read the how you do the controls, and that's what I did. Right. So, yeah. And thank you, Zelda. I think this is actually going to be where I'm going to stop. Um, yeah. Like I'm really satisfied with how the picture it is. It right looks now. great. Thank you. Looks. <laughs> yeah, because I combined uh, two references that Rika gave me: uh, her PNG mm. that she uses for her streams and her 3D model that she uses every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so I think this is going to be where I'm going to head off, and I think this is also going to be where I'm just going to go out of the VC and just veg for now. Yes, Alan. perfectly fine. Perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, let Enjoy me see actually Lawrence. who is online. Lawrence. Oh, I'm going to draw Lance at some point, probably next week. Mm -hmm. Uh, did it. You know, speaking of lands, you know what? Let's go. Let's go raid my stream, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> See, raid lands on a cola, and there's something uh, a little special for folks that are uh, subscribed. So, first, the road to dusk has led then... the raiders to you. Hello. Raid Tome, the road to dusk has ah, led the raiders to you. No, it didn't Hello. save my... Raid Tome. I have a special little subscriber, uh, little emote. Fuck it, we'll do the normal one. But, let's get going with saying hi to Lance Nauticola. He is a PG-13 streamer, so please act accordingly, everybody. But currently, he is playing a hat in time. So let's go give him a nice hello. Uh, with that said, I do want to thank everyone for tuning in. Monkey, Lexi, Kala, thanks for hopping in and supporting. Zelda, thank you so much for being a bean. And I will talk with you guys tomorrow where we will be getting into some gaming. Thanks for the stream. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Try not to have too much fun and have a good rest of your time zone. And bye-bye. Yeah.